Now, before ending the topic on Josephson junction, I would just like to tell you that the squid is used, the superconducting quantum interference device is used as a very uh, sensitive tool for detecting magnetization of a sample because magnetization of a sample generates a field and that field uh, which is generated by the sample because of its internal magnetization can be detected very easily with very low magnetic fields can be detected by the squid as we have already seen. So how is this squid actually implemented in detecting the magnetization of a sample? Okay, So I will explain it very simply without going into the details. What you have is as a sample which is shown here in green is a sample which has some magnetization okay it generates a magnetic field around it it has a magnetization associated with it this is a dipolar field that is shown out here and then what you do is that you in, in, uh, you introduce this this is put on a rod and the sample is moved up and down through a coil okay now as the uh, sample is moved through this coil it generates currents in the coil okay because there is a change in uh, magnetic flux associated with this coil so this coil there will be currents which are generated in this coil okay and then there is a pickup coil okay so uh, through a transformer uh, you have a squid loop which is sitting far away from this region okay and uh, through a transformer uh, there is this um, uh, uh, currents which are induced in the pickup coil Okay, whatever currents are introduced in this coil by moving the magnetic uh, magnetization through the sample, similar levels of current are introduced in this through this transformer in this coil, and these currents flow and generate a magnetic field in the squid loop, which generates a magnetic flux in the squid loop, and the squid detects this magnetic flux, whatever is the flux, and it tells you how much is the current which is present, and from the field which is in the uh, squid loop, the field which is generated inside the squid loop is proportional to how much current is flowing in this region and this current which is flowing through this loop is proportional to how much current is induced in the coils through which the magnetization uh, sample, magnetized sample is moving and hence you can actually calibrate and tell how much is the magnetization of the sample. So in this way very weak magnetization samples which introduce, which have very low magnetic fields around them, we introduce very low currents in these pickup coils um, can be detected using the uh, squid magnetometer. Okay, So the squid magnetometer, the squid loop is actually, you don't actually take the sample and put it directly on the squid loop but it is the squid loop is actually kept far away from this pickup coil and it is placed in a shielded magnetically shielded region the reason for that is that if you do it in this way then this coil can be introduced in a larger magnet okay which can uh, so that you can study how the magnetization of this uh, of this sample changes as a function of applied magnetic field and this applied magnetic field should not affect the squid and that is why the your squid sensor so the sensor is kept far away from the magnetic field which is generated in which the sample is placed okay uh, so that is why you don't actually put the squid directly near the sample so that you can put a magnetic field on the sample and you can study how its magnetic field magnetization varies as a function of field do mh hysteresis loops and so on you can do all of that by applying an external field okay but at the same time the magnetization of the sample is measured by this sensor which is placed far away and it is coupled to this pickup coil through this flux transformer what is called as a flux transformer the coil is also very specific it is called as a second order radiometer coil i'll not get into the details but you can read about it uh, if you want to know more about the squid magnetometer there's a lot of information available on the internet about the squid magnetometer pickup coils and so on in fact in uh, our iit campus we have actually two squid magnetometers on campus okay so this becomes a very very important uh, application of um, this uh, squid device or the squid sensor for detecting very very weak magnetization signals in fact the squid magnetometer is also thought to be useful for picking up signals from the brain though it is not commercially viable at the moment but there are technologies which are being developed for picking up signals from the brain using this array of squids which are uh, put around the brain uh, but all these are at a research stage at the moment 
so this is one very important device application of superconductivity which is used for making a very very ultra sensitive magnetometer which can pick up very low magnetization just of the order of few tens to hundreds of Bohr magnetons if you uh, if you keep if you make a very very sensitive squid device it can be detected.